What's up guys? Welcome back to Young Money Investing. My name is Liam. So this is going to be a follow-up video to my previous video which was titled, You Will Never Retire. In that video, I break down all the various problems facing the American worker and why it's nearly impossible to retire in today's economy. If you haven't watched that video yet, I suggest you watch it first before you come back over here and finish this video bringing you the solution now. Let me actually introduce you to the solution to your problems. Let me teach you how to eat. If you didn't figure out from my intro and from my previous video, then EAT is an acronym. It stands for Earn, Accumulate, Trade. I'll go more in depth into each of these letters throughout the course of this video, but I do think this system will help just about anybody acquire more wealth. The great thing about this system is that it can help you no matter what wealth looks like to you individually. Do you want to be a multimillionaire? Eat can help you. Would you rather just cover your basic living expenses and spend more time with your kids? Eat can help you. Would you rather travel the world and indulge in your wildest fantasies? Eat can help you. Now, this is not a magic get rich quick scheme. It will require work. It will require blood, sweat, and tears on your part. You might have to sacrifice your social life short term in order to be successful in the long term. But at the end of it all, you will have your financial freedom. If you aren't willing to put in the work, just click off now. If you're entitled and you think that the world owes you something just for your mere existence, click off now. If you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck, of never getting ahead, if you're tired of having nothing in your bank account and stressing about your future, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's talk about E, which stands for EARN. The median salary in the US is about $60,000 per year. Whatever you're doing for work right now, it's likely you can be earning more money. When was the last time you asked your boss for a legitimate raise? Not one of those bogus 2% cost of living adjustments. We all know inflation is higher than 2%, so that doesn't really help you. If you've never asked and you've been with the company longer than about a year or so, I think it would be a good idea to ask. Now, there are tons of articles and information out there about this subject, so I don't want to get hung up here too long, but basically just write out a list of all the value you currently provide to the company and make sure that it's more than what you currently get paid. Maybe there's another position you'd like to move up to. Have a conversation with your supervisor about your current skill set and what you need to have in order to get that promotion. Ask for honest feedback. Go above and beyond to provide value to your company. This may sound counterintuitive to some of you, but unfortunately, the way the world works is you provide value first and you get paid second. But what if you're already maxed out at your current job? Maybe there's no growth prospects, maybe your boss is an asshole. Whatever the reason, you cannot make a single penny more at your current job. Fine, go get a side job. In fact, go get one regardless. Drive for Uber or Lyft, deliver groceries, go clean windows on the weekend. I don't care, but you have to do something. While you're doing this, you should be looking for a new job at a better company. If you have legitimately maxed out your earning capacity in your current role, I would just look for something else. But this is what E is all about. Going on the offense and earning more money than what you currently make. Next we have A. A stands for accumulate. No matter what, no matter how strapped for cash you are or how small your paycheck is, you have to, have to, have to set some aside. Depending on where you are with E, this might be as little as 5%. Personally, I would aim to start with around 10% and increase it as my earnings went up. Eventually, you should be saving 20, 30, 50% of your income. I'd say the goal is to live off of 40% of your income and save the other 60. Now, 
That's probably crazy talk to some of you, but remember, this is a process. You don't have to get there right away. This money is sacred. It is not to be touched for any reason whatsoever. Put it in a separate bank account, put it in a separate bank. I don't care, but don't touch it. This will challenge you. There will be days and weeks and months where you think to yourself, just a hundred bucks couldn't hurt, right? Don't do it. This money is for your future. Take a look at your monthly expenses and cut out all the unnecessary stuff. Fast food, drinks every weekend with your friends, whatever it is. I don't know you, but if you can save this money instead of spending it, it will serve you better in the future. This is what A is all about. Being defensive and keeping as much of that money that you make as you can. And lastly, we have T, which stands for trade. Now, although I myself am a day trader, this is not what I'm talking about. What I mean when I say trade is we're going to trade the money that we've accumulated for something else of value. And realistically, there are only three things you should be buying. You can buy higher value skills to increase your earning capacity. This is what I would do in the beginning of the ETH system as it will pay the largest dividends down the line. You can buy income, whether that be real estate, dividend stocks, annuities, or something else. Most people don't realize you can buy income, but you can, so do it. Or you can buy your time back. If you run a business, hire employees. If you're in sales, hire an appointment setter. Maybe you need an assistant or a researcher. Maybe you have someone write a piece of software that automates part of your job. I don't know. I don't know your exact situation, but I do know time is the only real resource. There you have it, my EAT system for teaching you how to eat. Once you finish the last step, you just loop right back to the beginning and you start earning more money all over again. In all seriousness though, I do hope that this really helps some people. It's a very simple system, but it is not easy to follow. It's going to take years for you to really see the benefits of the EAT system. But when the alternative is never being able to retire, it's not so bad. Like I said though, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You might have to go without parties, hangouts, lunches, dinners, dates, etc. Or you might just have to find cheaper or even free alternatives. But when you look back five, 10 years down the line and you've got everything you've ever wanted, it's all worth it. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go smash that like button. Show me some love. Show me some appreciation. Show me that you want to be a millionaire too. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know who is going to be a millionaire. Until next time, peace out homies.